Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan has used his speech at the UN General Assembly to deliver an extraordinary attack on India's actions in Indian administered Kashmir. Imran Khan warned the room full of world leaders that the situation will end in a bloodbath. Remember, New Delhi imposed a lockdown in the territory after withdrawing its autonomy. Khan says the UN should intervene to prevent war between two nuclear powered neighbors. What is going to happen? When the curfew is lifted, will be a bloodbath. The people will come out. There are 900,000 troops there. They haven't come to, as Narendra Modi says, he's done this to, for prosperity of Kashmir. This is supposed to be for the development. These 900,000 troops, what are they going to do when, the demo, when they come out? There'll be a bloodbath. Has he thought it through what happens then? Here's Jonah Hull at the United Nations to talk through this one. He took a while to, to get to the point, uh, Jonah. I think Imran Khan was enjoying the, the world stage of being at the General Assembly. But once the topic got to Kashmir, my goodness, we heard all about it. Uh, yes, this was a deeply impassioned, dark, really quite grim speech by Imran Khan, railing against the injustices of the world, but particularly focusing down at the end there, as you say, on uh, Kashmir and India. He accused Narendra Modi, India's Prime Minister, of rebuffing uh, Pakistan's attempts at re reconciliation of, over Kashmir a year ago. He accused Narendra Modi of uh, overstepping 11 UN declarations that had sought to guarantee the rights of Kashmiris. He accused uh, Modi of following uh, a fascist-type ideology bent on uh, the purity of race, uh, an ideology of hate borrowed, he said, from Hitler and Mussolini. Uh, and in the end, he said that the goal of all of this, India's actions in Kashmir, was the ethnic cleansing of Muslim, Muslims from the face of India. Uh, you heard him speaking there. He said, look, when, this, uh, when these security controls are lifted in Kashmir that have been in place since the beginning of August, uh, there will be a backlash on the streets. People will come out. There are 900,000 Indian soldiers there. There will be a massacre a bloodbath. He said that will be blamed on Pakistan and all of that will then bring these two nuclear armed neighbors, neighbors uh, back into a situation of potential conflict with consequences, he said, for the whole world. He wrapped that by saying the UN has the responsibility to stop this happening. Gosh, and I've just seen as well on uh, Twitter, Jonah, one of the trending hashtags worldwide, Imran Khan, voice of Kashmir. It's really resonated.